top role for the Owls last year when the man who was the shortstop, you'll see in the bottom of the first. Alvarez two for two on stolen base attempts. DeSatis comes to second for the force, and the Seminoles go back to first for the four, six, three double play. So the move up the middle pays off early for Florida State. Van Eyck gets a ground ball. A couple of extra base hits with doubles against Cincinnati. And now he walks on four pitches here against Jacob Josie. Trying to solidify that bullpen. And Elijah Cabell goes down swinging. That's some heady stuff there from Josie battling back. And Martin earns that walk. And the bases are loaded for the freshman Simmons the first seven games. And he'll strike out an eighth time, and Jacob Josie gets out of trouble. This Change up. Change up down, and down goes Summerall. Got him. Good breaking ball there. Started it out. He missed, missed down with it. And Van Eyck applies the tag down the line. And that's another efficient inning for CJ from Panama. So the animals have the Panamanian flag up there in section B, but the foul tip ends up in the glove of Tony. And that brings up Jackson Green. He's first pitch swinging. That ball is lifted up into left. And out there to make the play in left is Hardigan. We saw in the bottom of the second being from Panama to a ruse who strikes out on three pitches. A couple of young men from the same country. But thumbs up balls in here. You love for that guy on the other side to come get it. As he misses there on a 3-2 count. Two consecutive walks now issued by C.J. Van Eyck. Runners on at first and second. And now they're loaded. Three consecutive walks. Urbaez hit 362 against conference opponents, and he wears a pitch, and Florida Atlantic strikes first. That one clipped him. Ending is completely got it. And they called him out. You throw the knee in there, looks like a little bit. So called strikeout against Morganson. Well hit ball, but fielded well by Simmons. The damage for Florida Atlantic is limited to one run. And so Tyler Martin. Walks on four pitches. Anything, a chance to yell, they will. Good read by Martin getting the second base, seeing the ball on the dirt. All right. Ball down low once again. Another good read by Tyler Martin. He slides into third. Nelson, what an at bat. Battles back. Ground ball, hard hit. Force at second, and a double play at first will score the run. One FSU six and one, the count three and one, and that one came in on Cabell. The timing to the plate, and Cabell's on the run to second. And a nice throw down by Tony gets the left fielder there. Joe Montez, the previous third baseman for the Owls and Murray different positions as the DH, as the first baseman, even one is the catcher, and he grounds out to short. Green puts him away at first. And down he goes. Fourth strikeout for Jacob Josie. Got in there. <laughs> Maybe that'll make you come back now. And Dylan Simmons records the first hit tonight for either team. That one through the right side. One and one to DeSatis. Lead ground ball here, fielded by Murray. And a good play by the third baseman to retire DeSatis. So 
Start the third trip through the order here for FAU. That ball smoked right by Van Eyck. And there's the first hit for the Owls, Urbaez. That'll get behind Nelson, so Urbaez advances again. There's another walk issue. Nelson's gotten very fortunate. Bounces there. Ball. And Morganson goes down swinging. And the go-ahead run is stranded at third. First, it was a nice play by Alvarez. And then he walked on four pitches a couple of innings ago. And now he wears one. Martin off and running. This ball is lifted out into left. And that will drop down at the track. So Martin. Gets the wave around third. Throw comes home. He'll slide in, and he's thrown out. What a play by the Owls. Got the great carom off the wall, but the throw from the shortstop, Alvarez. Back on February 21st. Weak ground ball here on the infield. O'Connell makes the flip, and it gets away. Aruz couldn't haul it in, and Florida State takes a 2-1 lead. Rung up for the strikeout, looking. O'Connell. It would be his eighth. Got it. So C.J. Van Eyck. And that one clipped him on the backside to the sophomore. That one's down in the dirt. To But that is exactly what he does. <laughs> and so he earns another four-pitch walk, and this one plates Carter Smith. The fifth. Also came in to score. This ball is sawed off, and it'll drop out in shallow right field. Multiple runs will come in to score, and Florida State adds on to its lead. It's 5-1. And he goes down swinging off an intensive fastball, but a count 2-2. Two, two. It took one more, but Tony goes down swinging. He faces a 2-2 two, two now as an hour. And down he goes. Popped up. And to say to secure is out number three. Great bunt from Baldor, moves the runners. A little hesitation there with the, the set when his delivery to the play. Ground ball to third, Murray makes the play in time to retire the side. So Florida State gets a couple of runners in scoring position. That's going to go one, two, three in as few as 12. And that's exactly what he does. What an inning from Antonio Velez. You got to credit FAU making a great relay. Well, the first time Nelson's been retired, it's Hunter Cooley who does it. And down he goes. That'll do it. Florida State beats Florida Atlantic 5-1. The Knowles improved to 7-1 on the season.